The threat of an Arkansas university closing its doors is prompting some major moves to try to keep it functioning. The fear is the major changes, if they're not made, Henderson State would be closing. At least that would be an option on the table. This morning, the Arkansas State University System approved a plan to get it off the table and keep the school open. Neil Zarang reporting in the studio tonight. Neil, first of all, how did things get to this point for Henderson? Well, Bob, it's really the only option. Henderson State University merged into the Arkansas State University System in 2019. Didn't Due to that urgent financial issues, they say in 2015, the university had four months worth of cash on hand to operate. By 2019, they had a week's worth. Now that there is no more pandemic funding to help out, hard decisions had to be made fast. Had we not stepped in in 2019, I believe that the university would have failed to survive. After a tough decision to take over Henderson State University's debt, the Arkansas State University System Board faced an even tougher decision Thursday. Do they transform how Henderson operates at the cost of 37% of its professors and most of its liberal arts programs? When this strategy was introduced to us, it was done with no consultation whatsoever. On Wednesday, the HSU Faculty Senate passed a vote of no confidence against Chancellor Charles Ambrose. Dr. Megan Hickerson was part of that vote and is one of the professors who will lose her job. We would have really embraced the opportunity to have tried to work out strategies to solve some of these problems that weren't quite this catastrophic. Chancellor Charles Ambrose stated, I really don't know what the alternative would be other than to present a model that was at risk of closure. Records show each program is bringing in less money than it costs. On top of that, Henderson State has some of the highest average operating costs in the state, but the worst graduation rate. Vote is unanimously approved by the board. The new plan focuses on what degrees are in the most demand for today's workforce. This plan is reflective of the creative thinking that is going to be needed as higher ed goes forward. The unanimous vote to cut these jobs and programs will save the university $5.5 million over the next two school years. It also comes in the middle of finals, teacher appreciation week, and graduation tomorrow, Laura.